Hey everybody, welcome back to microbeerviews.com. We are going to review tonight a beer from Samuel Adams. I will not get on my soapbox, but there's a lot of haters out there with Samuel Adams at this point in 2017 because they're not, you know, the cool brand new brewery. But if you're honest with yourself, I remember when Boston Lager was one of the coolest beers to drink at a bar 15 years ago. And I think it have a lot to do with why I, I've continued my YouTube channel and why craft beer is so successful. So I give them a lot of credit. That's my Samuel Adams tip for the evening. But tonight we will review their Rebel White Citra IPA. So it's a single hop IPA. Citra is one of my favorite hops. If you're watching my other videos, we talk about Citra and Mosaic hops right now. I personally think there are two hops that have really expanded the IPA market. Um, and I also think that brewing a beer with just one of them is extremely difficult to do correctly. So Sam Adams uh, brought out this really cool can. I like this can a lot. I got it in their multi-12 pack. Price points are ridiculous for Sam Adams. I mean, that's the other thing that nobody can argue. They're trying to keep their beers priced to where they're affordable for the common person and the person uh, who's purchasing beer. A lot of persons there who is trying to expand their palate, not buy the macro beer. I think I paid $14, it might have been 13 for the 12 pack. There were three of these in there. Um, it's an intense citrus rush of citra hops. Um, the ABVs are 7.3%, so that's pretty up there. Uh, IBUs are 50. Um, it's brewed with, and this should be no, no surprise to anybody watching this video, the Sam Adams traditional two row two row pale malts, um, some white wheat, hence the uh, the white part of the title here. Um, Citra hops is the only hops that they're using right now, um, and it is a limited release, only available in their what they're calling their multi rebel twelve pack. So um, again, I think this is one of those things where they call it slightly hazy, uh, intense citrus, tropical aromas. Um, grapefruit orange notes and a touch of white wheat so the touch of white wheat is where I think this is going to separate itself out from some of the other citra beers on the market and, and again I give Sam Adams a ton of credit they have really really tried not only to keep up with the craft market but a, a lot of the reason that um, it's around is because of them in my opinion so anyway enough of that soapbox so let's get into the beer um, definitely hazy a little bit of yellowish, the yellow to it, some residuals floating around a little bit. There's definitely some flakes in there. Crisp, extremely white, frothy, um, white head on it. But definitely hazy and definitely has some, uh, what I call some wheat grit to it. Uh, kind of, again, not a very filtered beer, but again, not as bad as some of the others. So, see what it smells like. Smells like wheat. <laughs> um, not very exciting aroma. There, you can definitely smell a little bit of the citra hops. It's pretty boring on the aroma, to be honest. Maybe a little bit of grapefruit. Maybe a tad bit of like tangerine. But it's quite boring on the aroma. So, cheers. Let's get into the glass, see what we have here. Tastes better than it smells. <laughs> um, definitely kind of gritty. Definitely you can taste the the, the, the hazy and, and cloudiness. It's got definitely a, a, a smooth, fresh grapefruit front. Um, I can definitely also kind of get the hint of orange. Um, the wheat pops. The wheat kind of pops in the middle of your palate, and it's what I call your traditional wheat beer, kind of like a uh, uh, like a blue moon type wheatiness to it, graininess to it. And then there's a very subtle finish of citra hops. Um, it's there. I think the aftertaste is better than what I would call the finish of the citra hops. It kind of takes a little while to kind of catch up on your palate. Um, it's a very subtle beer, um, which would could and would be good for a lot of people, especially going into the summer months, which is when this multi-12 pack was launched in the spring and into the summer. Um, it's a very tame beer, 
So it, nothing crazy exciting, nothing overpowering, nothing that just wows you and blows your mind or your palate. Um, it's very um, what I call traditional in the wheat beer of, uh, of, of market and arena. I don't think any of the wheat beers, this is my own opinion, are exciting. I just think they're just middle of the road, they're easy to drink. People throw in oranges like Blue Moon and Lemons and all this other jazz just to make it exciting. Good for them. If they like it, more power to you. I think this is exactly that type of beer. I don't think it's very um, exciting on my end. Again, I'm not a huge wheat beer fan, but that palate texture is something that I just don't get excited about. I will say it's easy to drink. It's got some good qualities to it. It's very balanced, but not very exciting for me. So, um, yo, Citra White, Rebel White Citra IPA. We rate our beers between one and five. I would probably give this maybe a two. Um, it's not very exciting for me. Uh, it's just kind of middle of the road. A lot of their beers, and I give them a huge amount of credit for this again, are to please the masses, as I call it, if you watch any of my other beer reviews. They're easy to drink. They're, again, not too exciting on any level, but again, smooth, well-brewed, exactly what is described like on the label, um, and they can sell millions of dollars every year because of it. So kudos to them. Not a beer for me. I would give this a thumbs down. I would not purchase this again. And quite honestly, if I get it in a 12-pack, I will probably give them away to my friends and neighbors that do enjoy wheat beer. So, thanks for watching microbeerviews.com. Please leave comments on our YouTube channel and our website. We appreciate you watching. We upload all the time. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And as always, we will see you again real soon. Cheers.